welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great fantastic day now I do apologize for the delay of the current weeks that I haven't uploaded any videos I really just wanted to film everything all in one go because it's that time of year guys it's the declutter series yes so in this series I'm just going to be showing you guys what I'm keeping what I'm not keeping majority of it's old and to be honest with you I haven't really purchased repurchase too much new makeup anyway if it's something i've completely unused i will pass this on to a friend or family if if it's very very really expired it's going to go in the bin um this is not pr i don't get sent any pr at all from any companies probably only once i did but this is all purchased from my own money so sit back and relax guys and i hope you enjoy my declutter series for 2023 so if you guys are going to enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video i do here on this channel don't forget to follow on instagram if you want to link is in the description bar below so sit back and relax guys and enjoy my declutter series hello guys in this video we're going to be tackling concealers now i'll be honest with you guys i haven't really purchased any new concealers a lot last year i've still got a lot of old concealers so it's kind of nice to get rid of the old and in with the new so let's start tackling with these i do apologize that the trays are a little bit dirty these trays hold my makeup in so well i just keep them every single year these are the concealers i'm going to be keeping so let's jump straight into this one this is the revolution conceal and hydrate concealer this is a very good concealer and it's super hydrating so i'm definitely keeping this one this is the ex1 delete fluid concealer this is a very good full coverage concealer i like this and it's not too heavy so i'm keeping this one this is the mua pro base um full coverage concealer i haven't used this concealer too much but i feel like i need to get more use out of it so i'm going to keep this one this concealer i got recently this is the kiko uh, I can't remember what concealer this was, but I tested this concealer not that long ago in my testing Kiko makeup video and I really like it and this is super hydrating so I'm keeping this one. This is the Misguided Meet Your Match uh, Liquid Concealer. This is a very good concealer so I'm keeping this one. This one here is the Juvia's Place Concealer. This is extremely full coverage and it's very good for when my foundations are a bit too dark so I like to keep this one. This one is a truly excellent concealer. This is the Revolution Pro Ultimate Radiant Under Eye Concealer. This is excellent. If you have dry under eyes, definitely go for this concealer because this one is brilliant. This one here is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Anti-Fatigue uh concealer this one is very very nice it does match my skin tone it's not necessarily under the eyes material but uh but it's good for over the face with blemishes and stuff this is the lightest one they do it's in the shade uh, 51 claire but it is excellent so i'm gonna keep these concealers were my last declutter and i'm still using them this is the elf hydrating camo concealer i've got two shades i've got the shade light sand and fair warm one of them is for the under eyes and the other one is for my face these are excellent keeping these 100 percent actually in fact these are nearly running out so i need to buy some new ones this i'm not too sure if you can get this anymore but this is the nyx born to glow concealer i really like this for brightening under the eyes i'm not too sure if you can still get it but i want to use it up anyway so i'm going to keep it this is the i heart revolution heartbreaker concealer i really like this concealer the applicator you have to kind of dip it in a couple of times just to get product out but it's still very good so i'm going to keep this one this is the uh nars Ooh. This is the NARS Radiance Concealer. Very good for the face. I really like this one actually, so I wanna use this up and keep it. This one is the uh, Gosh Concealer. It's the high coverage concealer. You can't really get Gosh anymore in the UK, but this is so good for full coverage and it's a nice pale shade. So very good for deeper, like darker foundations. So I'm gonna keep this. This is the Kiko Skin Tone Concealer. I'm never getting rid of this. I absolutely love this concealer. So yeah, I'm keeping this. Last but not least, this one, well, there's a nicer hair on there. So this is the Too True Be Clear Full Concealer. And I like to use this for my blemishes. This hair of mine will not come off. <laughs> but this is really really good for blemishes so i like this i'm going to use this up and i'm keeping this one Alrighty, so these are the concealers i'm not keeping so let's jump straight into this this is the body collection concealer and fair i loved using this for a while but the liquid inside has completely separated and it doesn't apply 
as well as it used to do in the in when I first ever tried this. Um, I know it doesn't give full coverage, but it's very good for like the light coverage under the eyes. Like I like to mix this with a color corrector or something. So it is good for that, but yeah, it's completely separated now. So it's gonna have to go in the bin. This is the MUA Pro Base Refresh and Revive uh, Under Eye Primer. Now I know this isn't a concealer, but I did use this before my concealer. Um, it is sort of an unnecessary product. Like you don't have to use this with concealer. Um, I used this a couple of times and I've kind of stopped using it, so yeah, this one can go. So these two here are the Makeup Gallery Hide and Chic Multi-Use Concealer. Absolutely love these, prefer these over the foundation, 100%. Um, one of them is the old packaging and this is the new packaging, uh, but these are completely empty now. I can't get any more product out of these, so uh, these can go. Did forget to mention as well, which is kind of hiding somewhere in my collection, but I do have the uh, bigger version of this in my collection, but I think it's kind of fallen out somewhere. So I'm keeping the Dofla applicator one of this concealer because now they've given us a bigger size product of the same thing. So I'm getting rid of these ones because they're empty and I've got the uh, bigger size of it now. So yeah, thought I'd mention that because I realised it wasn't in my collection. This is the XX Revolution concealer. Now... Unfortunately, this is not a good concealer. I'm so sorry. I did try to use sparingly like a little bit a little goes a long way But unfortunately, it still creases under my eyes terribly badly. So I'm afraid I won't be using this anymore Okay, the writing has completely come off this. It shows how old it is. It's the, it's the barium all night long uh, concealer um, I've had this for so many years and yeah, I think it's time for it to depart Same with this one as well. This is the L'Oreal perfect match concealer i find it doesn't give me like a ton of coverage it was nice for brightening but yeah no i just don't really want to keep this anymore so this one's going in the bin this is the lottie london got it covered concealer and shell used to love this concealer but sadly now the color has completely it's completely gone off now it doesn't work as well as it used to and it does crease under my eyes terribly badly it does dehydrate them actually so that explains that so yes yeah, certainly this was great at the time, but now it has to go. This one here is the Wet n Wild Concealer Photo Focus one. Um, I've stopped using this to be fair, and uh, I've got other concealers which I use more, so this one's going. This product is probably ancient old. This is the Max Factor Radiance Lift Concealer. Uh, I don't really reach for this anymore, guys. And to be honest with you, it's pretty empty. There's hardly nothing left in it. So yeah, this one is going. Same with this one, this is pretty much empty, like you could guys can see, like I pretty much nearly used it all the way up. But this is the Revolution Eye Bright Concealer. Um, it's very good for brightening, not much coverage, but very brightening. So I might have to repurchase a new one, so yeah, this is going to go in the bin. And for some reason there's some random tape on it, so yeah, this is going. This is the Technic Vitamin C Concealer. I find this um, quite drying under the eyes, at first it was, it was okay. But yeah, no, this is very old now and I don't really use it anymore, so this can go. This I used not long ago, it's the Dazzle Concealer. As much as it was a nice colour corrector, I just, yeah, I'd rather just stick with my Poundland one and pay a few more pounds and pretty much get like a more expensive concealer to tell the truth. So sadly this one is going. The only one I will swear by is my, yeah, as I say, the Makeup Gallery one, but not this one. B Flawless Concealer, oh my gosh, they don't make this anymore guys and this is very old so this is going. And last but not least is the Mimi Mi uh, Colour and Perfect, uh, Correct and Perfect, sorry, Concealer Kit. I used to use this all the time, like you can see I've pretty much hit pan in it now. But uh, it kind of smells a bit funky and it's, yeah, I think it's gone off a bit now so yeah. This sadly is going and that is my concealers. All sorted. I really hope you guys are enjoying my series so far. If you are, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do on this channel. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. Also as well, um, I might be pre-filming some other makeup videos as well just to sort of break the ice a little bit because I don't want to do every single video of the declutter series because I don't want you guys getting too bored so if I can I will insert different makeup videos here and there just to break the ice thank you guys so much for watching have a great day stay safe and I'll see you all in my next video bye bye guys take care